first we got this big old pack of paper towel. I don't know if they sell this at Sam's or Costco's. I've never been to either one of those big stores. But I got this right here from the flea market, 12 rolls for $20. So I don't know if that's a good deal or not. But like I said, when I buy paper towels and stuff, I buy it in bulk. So I got that. And then this box right here, this is toilet paper. Every time I go to flea market, this be the first thing I picked up. Pick up is the toilet paper. So I'm going to cut it open and I'm going to seal it right back. Okay, so I got 12 of these big old spools of toilet paper and it don't hurt my septic system. I cannot use soft tissue. I can't use soft tissue in there, but this is nice. These right here. So I got 12 rolls for $20 as well as the uh, paper towel. So I got these from the same vendor that I purchased my tissue and toilet paper from always. Sometimes I buy the paper towel that they have that's loose, but he didn't have the real, real big spools. So that's what made me get that right there. But I'm so happy with my finds. So we got enough toilet paper and paper towels to take us clearly into the new year and probably into the middle of it you know what i mean because i still have um some big spools of toilet paper that we're still working on so you know we're pretty much stock and um thank god you know thank god for that i got this stuff my little main things out the way okay and let me show you the few other things that i picked up at the flea market Hello, everyone. welcome back to my channel i am pam's doing it again for those who are new welcome and thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel if I haven't already, I will be on my way to head to you guys' neck of the woods, okay? Thank you, and welcome back to all of my loyal subscribers. Today, I am back with another flea market haul. The day is Sunday. I went to the flea market. I went to Turn 7, and I went to Foreman Mills. Yesterday was Saturday. I went to the flea market yesterday first okay because they say sunday it was going to rain today and i didn't want to you know take no chances or missing out on the things that i really needed to get like my my toiletries and stuff like that that's what i like getting at this first flea market that i went to but surprisingly enough i never been on a saturday and it was jam-packed i mean it had so many vendors out there which was really really nice and a lot of the vendors say when they start getting cold they be indoors though they got place a space inside so i was happy to hear that so yeah because they do close down next month in december and they don't open back up until april so i showed you guys the toiletries that i got yesterday from um the pan i mean i'll say the pantry i showed you guys the toiletries and stuff that i got yesterday at the flea market and i don't know if i showed you guys this big old heavy duty thing of aluminum foil they gave me this aluminum foil well i paid ain't nobody gave me nothing i paid 15 dollars for this big old box of aluminum foil because it's holiday season so instead of me keep on buying them small little rolls small little rolls i got this this to take me throughout the year well into next year and i paid 15 dollars for this so i think that was a nice deal on that that of uh, aluminum for you. I'm so glad I got that. Okay, so next up, um, they said it was going to rain today, but it didn't rain. So when I was heading to turn seven, the flea market was already set up and I was happy. But I didn't find too much stuff today um, at the flea market. I really didn't find too much stuff today. And um, I'm moving so fast. I, I didn't show you guys the rest of the stuff I got yesterday which was saturday all right so i picked up these little duke ug slides which was really nice i guess that's the word they use for it, the little duke and um not bad for twenty dollars they got your little ug symbol right there if you guys can see it on the side which is really really nice all of this nice fur this is what the sole look like Almost like a flip-flop sole, but it's much thicker because you can't bend it. So these were really, really nice. I got my daughter a brown pair, and she took hers already. So I got myself two. So I got the gray, and I got the brown ones. I'm not rich, so I can't pay tons of money for the real deal. But um, if I did have a lot of money, I think I'll still be thrifty the way I am. So these what these ones look like. Not bad for 20 bucks. Not bad at all. So, 
I got me two pairs. Sit everything down here. <laughs> Sit everything down here. So I got that. Also, can't go, can't leave the flea market without getting me a, a nice sheet set. And this is a 1800 count um, aloe vera bamboo sheet set. Queen size. Now, I just got one, you guys, because normally when I go there, I'll be picking up like three and four sets at a time. I got so many sheet sets, I haven't even opened up yet. So I say, let me just go ahead and grab me one. Uh, also, I'm sorry, you guys, I'm bending over here. Um, I picked up me these little scrub daddies. These are the original scrub daddy sponges. I got me two boxes of these, so he charged me $2 a piece for each box. Now, online, they go anywhere between $5 on up. Some places want $14.99. I was looking online. I was like, they crazy? But these are some good sponges, and I do got the original Scrub Mommy and Scrub Daddy, just the one round one that I got from Walmart. So I got some of these right here. This is going to last me for quite a while. And... I just picked up some batteries. You think everybody needs batteries. You got something that needs batteries. I'm still from the old school. I still got my old-fashioned doorbell, which take batteries. So I picked up quite a few packs of the C batteries. I also picked up the triple A batteries. And I also picked up the double A batteries. I have so many batteries. You just can't get enough because... If they were the good batteries, they'll wear out fast too. So it doesn't really matter. To me, they last about the same amount of time. So yeah, can't go wrong. I was looking for the non-volt batteries and um I didn't see any. So I probably was late tardy to the party. <laughs> On that note, so that's all I got yesterday from the flea market. Today, like I said, we went to um turn seven. We went to Foreman Mills and we went to the flea market. Flea market was already set up, so I was happy because they said it was going to pour down raining today, which it didn't. So it looked like it's still cloudy. So it might storm later on this evening. I'm not sure. But I did find my girl with the tumblers. And I got me another one right here. And this right here is Betty Boot with her coach outfit on. And uh, as y'all can see, all the little coach symbols and stuff around. This tumbler, the top part, you got your lemon, you got your lime, you got your colorful ice, and the straw is around here somewhere. <laughs> the straw is around here somewhere. And so I got this, and I still got my old one right here. The Fanta, the one that I got the first, very first time. So these are good for your cold beverages, but I don't drink out of them. I just like to look at them and see how pretty they are and just put it on display in my cabinet. So these are really, really nice. So that's all I got from the flea market. And let me show you guys what I got from turn seven. So I think I'm doing a good job today, guys, without my glasses. All right, before um, I show you what I got from Turn 7, I want to show you guys this purse I picked up for my granddaughter. And yes, it's a simulation. <laughs> a Louis Vuitton simulation. But it was so cute. And her birthday. Um, so I picked her up this cute simulation Louis Vuitton purse. I thought it was so, so, so nice. Look at it. It's not too shiny or anything. And it has the feet on the bottom. This is so nice. And this is the front of it. So she can, when she take that off, you can see the um, Louis Vuitton sign. And um, it also came with a cute little dust bag. And she liked purses, y'all, a whole lot. So... I can't go there without picking her up something or even my daughter and my daughter. And here go her straps right here. So I'll let her unravel it once she get it in her hand. And it came with this cute little, I don't know what y'all call this. I don't know if it's change purse or something. I don't know. <laughs> she know. She's going to know once she see it. And she got a headband in the inside of it. That was really, really nice. And also... This purse part in the inside that comes out. 
And this is what it looks like in the inside. It's hollow. So this is a nice bag for her. So yeah. Now that concludes what I got from the flea market. I gotta be uh in a minute, I gotta finish cooking my dinner. I made some um, llama beans yesterday with some smoked meat. I'm gonna show you guys. And I'm about to make a pot of rice and some fresh chicken. I don't like my chicken. I want my chicken that same day nice and fresh when I'm cooking. But the beans taste good, you know, as it simmer down and all the flavors from the neck bone. Season it out real nice. Oh my God, make the taste real nice, I meant to say. Okay, so yeah, so next up, what I got from Turn 7, I got this Mr. Coffee. It's an iced coffee um, machine. So it says, I mean, I, I need my glasses now. <laughs> I was doing good, y'all, but I need my glasses right about now. Okay. So it says, refreshing iced coffee. Brews in, uh, brew in under four minutes. Flavor iced coffee that never watered down. Includes double wall insulation, 22-ounce tumbler, lid, and straw. Includes reusable coffee filter. And this is what it looks like. That is really, really nice. And look how much I paid for it, you guys. Just 20 bucks. 20 bucks. You'd be surprised what you could get from Turn 7. So, I got that. And I got one more item. I got to back up some for this. And I picked up this Hamilton Beach Easy Easy Reach. Um, I think it's yeah, it's a toaster, a little toaster oven. So I had to turn it around because because it's in Spanish on the other side. It says easy access to fine food and countertop with easy reach roll top door. Fits four slices of toast or nine-inch pizza. Perfect for cooking everything from snacks to side dish. Cook your way with three cooking functions. Bake, broil, and toast. And this is what it looks like right there. And I paid just $30 for that. That was a great deal. Because I like I like grilled cheese and stuff like that. A lot of times I don't want to be on the stove trying to, you know, <laughs> messing up my frying pan with all that cheese. And I could just... Throw the sandwich in there, call the day, or they want to put their pizza and whatnot in it. And one more else, I, one more thing else I have to show you guys. Went to Foreman Mills and picked up a whole lot of t-shirts. Now, my nieces and them, they want me to make them some Christmas tees, and they wanted all red shirts. So, I picked up about eight red shirts. You get six shirts for $10. So, um. I picked up probably like $40 worth of shirts. So, yeah. So, I got red. I got some, um, I got gray. I got black. I got blue. And I got some yellow and burgundy and some brown and some greens at the bottom. Okay. All in this bag. I don't feel like pulling them all out. I was trying to look for some white. There was all out of white t-shirts. All out of the white ones. So, I got what I can get. Like I said, I really don't make shirts in the winter. I'm just making mine for like the spring and the summer and fall. I don't make them for the winter. Who wearing t-shirts in the winter? Not unless they're wearing it underneath a, you know, a cardigan or a hoodie or something like that. I don't know. But if they want to buy it, I'm going to make them, okay? And um, now I'm waiting for some more of the Christmas decals to come in. The ones that I ordered off of Tamu.
So thank you guys for watching. This concludes everything that I got. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Until the next video, God bless. Be safe and stay prayed up. Have a nice evening. Bye.